And it's nice to welcome back Matt. And today we're talking about selling your house and the key questions that you must ask an agent. Now I must start by saying, why do I need an agent? It's a seller's market, surely. I mean, convince me. Can't I just do well, it privately? You don't necessarily need an agent, but I would hugely recommend it. I've seen some absolute disasters with people trying to sell, tr trying to sell their house privately. Um, you know, the fee. You, you could save a little bit of money without the agent, without the fee, but yeah. it could cost you a huge amount of money. It, it, at, at, at the end. Is that because the private people don't know what they should be we, getting? Or? Yeah, we just know how to market properties, we know how to talk to buyers, we know how to filter through the buyers, you know, kind of sort, sort out the tie kickers from the real buyers. And probably most importantly, we know how to negotiate. I'm, I'm an absolutely gun negotiator. Right. <laughs> no, he is, he's very good. I like the guns there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when's the best time to involve a real estate agent? If you're thinking of selling, probably as early as possible, to be honest. Like, um, uh, the agent will have um, market knowledge as to you, your area, and, um, and probably most importantly, they'll be able to give you really valuable advice as to what you need to be doing before taking it to market. Um, and, 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 and that will vary um, on, on the area where you live, you know. So in some places you might want to juice it up, but in other areas you might not necessarily need to. So right. just, that, just, that, just that key information, really. Okay, so whether you're not, you spend a bit of money painting the outside or if it's actually yeah. not worth it, leave it for the new people. Yeah, yeah, yeah stuff like that, uh -huh. yeah. So who's, like, how do you know who's a good fit for you or who's a good agent to get in to sell your house? Yep, yep. So a good agent for you should have really great market knowledge on your area. They should know a lot about it. Um, you should do your research, you know, uh, a seller should always research a lot of agents. Um, they should um, have some really good testimonials. If you know people that have sold in the area, personal testimonials are better than in any. Um, but go online, check out the testimonials. Um, and um, yeah, yeah. And, and, and the most important thing is to actually physically interview agents and to get that, that real connection with them. Um, you're going to be sharing some really important personal info with, yeah. with, that, with this guy or girl. Um, you're going to go through the, one of the biggest transactions of your life. It's really important that you gel with these people. So you're kind of saying you can have an open home with your real estate agent, like just get them all in. Yeah. They, you know, they tie a kick, you tie a kick, and then you pick one. Not all at the same time, Mike. Right. <laughs> like a bachelor competition, oh, whereas, like, you know, have the roses. roses. No, I like it. Good That's idea. A good idea. You can do that, Mike. <laughs> okay, cool. We'll save a bit of time. Team, teamwork. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, what should that agent's role be when you've got that agent sorted? What is their role primarily? Yep, yep. I mean, so their role is to establish um, um, who's going to potentially buy this house, so the market, um, come up with a marketing plan to attract those people. Um, it's also, uh, this is apart from just literally selling it, um, also um, obviously sorting, you know, sorting the, the tyre kickers from the buyers. Right. Um, and uh, as I mentioned, help you get ready for sale, so you know, advice as to what you need to do to, to achieve the best possible price. How do you sort out the tyre kickers? Because I'd probably be, I've classed myself as a tyre kicker. You've got a pretty good feel for it. I, get, I mean, I've been doing it for a little while and you get a pretty good feel um, for, you know, so if, if you're in there, a, I can spot people like you, Mel. If you've got something going, <laughs> oh, where do you live? Oh, I'm just across the road. You know, they're, they're pretty much a you tire get kicker. huge amount. I mean, neighbours sometimes move. I, I had someone buy a house, a few months ago, I had someone buy a house right across the road. Mm -hmm. They're kind of up, up skilled. And, um, so you do, but you generally get heaps of neighbours. Yeah, yeah. I'm one of those people. I'm always at the neighbours' open home. It's an Auckland pastime. Well, no, it's good just to, yeah, you're right, and it's good just to keep an eye on what's happening in, in your market, I guess, as yep. well. Yep. Um, okay, Matt, just to wrap, so what's the one key piece of advice you would give us from today's session? It would be to, um, if, you, if you're embarking on en enlisting an agent, is to have a really great personal connection with that agent. You need to, you need to like this person, that you need to feel comfortable with them. Um, you're going to be doing some really serious stuff with these people. Okay. Thank you very much. Much, Matt. Thanks, we'll Matt. See you next time. Awesome. It's just like the bachelor, you've got to have the, the connection. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully it lasts a bit longer than the bachelor. <laughs>